Next, we'll start our narration on Saint Arsenius the Great from the book called The Sayings of the Desert Fathers. May God help us benefit from his life. Arsenius was born in Rome about 360, a well-educated man of senatorial rank. He was appointed by the Emperor Theodosius I as a tutor to the princes Arcadius and Honorius. He left the palace in 394 and sailed secretly to Alexandria. From there he went to Scetis and placed himself under the guidance of Abba John the Dwarf. He became an anchorite near Petra in Scetis. He seems to have had only three disciples, Alexander, Zoilus, and Daniel. He was renowned for his austerity and silence, and this combined with his learning made him seem somewhat forbidding to the Coptic monks. After the second devastation of Scetis in 434, he went to the mountain of Thro, where he died in 449. While still living in the palace, Abba Arsenus prayed to God in these words, Lord, Lead me in the mountain of salvation, a voice came saying to him, Arsenus, flee from men and you will be saved. Having withdrawn to the solidarity of life, he made the same prayer again and he heard a voice saying to him, Arsenus, flee, be silent, pray always for these are the source of sinlessness. It happened that when Abba Arsenius was sitting in his cell that he was harassed by demons. His servants, on their return, stood outside his cell and heard him praying to God in these words. O oh God, do not leave me, I have done nothing good in your sight, but according to your goodness, let me now make a beginning of good. It was said of him that, just as none in the palace had worn more splendid garments than he when he lived there, so no one in the church wore such poor clothing. Someone said to blessed Arsenius, How is it that we, with all our education and our wide knowledge, get nowhere, while these Egyptian peasants acquire so many virtues? Abba Arsenius said to him, We indeed get nothing from our secular education, but these Egyptian peasants acquire their virtues by hard work. One day, Abba Arsenius consulted an old Egyptian monk about his own thoughts. Someone noticed this and said to him, Abba Arsenius, how is it that you, with such a good Latin and Greek education, ask this peasant about your thoughts? He replied, I have indeed been taught Latin and Greek, but I do not know even the alphabet of this peasant.
Blessed Archbishop Theophilus, accompanied by a magistrate, came one day to find Abba Arsenius. He questioned the old man to hear a word from him. After a short silence, the old man answered him, Will you put into practice what I say to you? They promised him this. If you hear Arsenius is anywhere, do not go there. Another time the archbishop intended to come to see him, sent someone to see if the old man would receive him. Arsenius told him, if you come, I shall receive you. But if I receive you, I receive everyone, and therefore I shall no longer live here. Hearing that, the archbishop said, If I drive him away by going to him, I shall not go any more. A brother questioned Abba Arsenius to hear a word of him, and the old man said to him, Strive with all your might to bring your interior activity into accord with God, and you will overcome exterior passions. He also said, If we seek God, he will show himself to us, and if we keep him, he will remain close to us. Someone said to Abba Arsenius, My thoughts trouble me, saying, You can neither fast nor work, at least go and visit the sick, for that is also charity. But the old man recognizes the suggestions of the demons, said to him, Go, eat, drink, sleep, do no work, only do not leave yourself. For he knew that steadfastness in the cell keeps a monk in the right way. Abba Arsenis used to say that a monk traveling abroad should not get involved in anything. Thus, he will remain in peace. Abba Mark said to Abba Arsenius, Why do you avoid us? The old man said to him, God knows that I love you, but I cannot live with God and with man. The thousands and th ten thousands of the heavenly host have but one will, while men have many. So I cannot leave God to be with man. Abba Daniel said to Abba Arsenius, that he used to pass the whole night without sleeping, and in the early morning when nature compelled him to go to sleep, he would say to sleep, Come here, wicked servant. Then seated, he would snatch a little sleep and soon wake up again. Abba Arsenis used to say that one hour sleep is enough for a monk if he is a good fighter. The old man used to tell how one day someone handed round a few dried figs in Skedis. Because they were not worth anything, no one took any to Abba Arsenius in order not to offend him. Learning of it, the old man did not come to the synaxis, saying, You have cast me out by not giving me a share of the blessing which God had given the brethren 
and which I was not worthy to receive. Everyone heard of this and was edified at the old man's humility. Then the priest went to take him the small dried figs and brought to the cynics with joy. Abba Daniel used to say, He lived with us many a long year, and every year we used to take him only one basket of bread, and when we went to find him the next year, we would eat some of that bread. It was said of the same Abba Arsenius that he only changed the water for his palm leaves once a year. The rest of the time he simply added to it. One old man implored him in these words, Why do you not change the water for these palm leaves when it smells bad? He said to him, Instead of the perfumes and aromatics which I used in the world, I must bear this bad smell. Thank you for listening. Part 2 of St. Arsenius narration will be broadcasted next week. Thank you for being with us. I hope these programs has helped you and your loved ones. We will be back next week with a different topic for our discussion and the narration will also continue. Please attend that as well. Until next week, have a blessed time. <laughs>